Greetings for the Department of Information and Public Relations and the Ministry of Education, Youth Affairs and Sports. I'm Information Officer Giovanni Herbert. And with us today in the studio is the director and other ministry officials from the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports. Uh, welcome. Thank, Thank you. you. <laughs> <laughs> director, I'm going to ask if you guys can introduce yourselves and we'll just go into why we are here this today. Okay. Thank you so much for having us, Gio. I am Brenda Litsum Tai. I am the director of the department, the wonderful department of youth affairs and sports. All right. All right. I am Shanice Leonard, senior program manager for youth. And I'm Desiree Flanders Harrigan, program officer for youth. And we are glad to have you all. Um, so as we have the department for youth affairs and sports in the studios with us today, we are speaking on your business Youth Business Expo that is upcoming. Um, tell us a little bit about the reason why or how um, Director Tai on this expo that is okay. upcoming. We're having a focus on youth entrepreneurship. And okay. the real reason you know, behind youth entrepreneurship is that it's a tool to combat unemployment in youth. Around the world, you know, unemployment is high overall, but it's even higher in the youth population. And the youth of the Virgin Islands, like other young people across the group, are full of creative and unique ideas. These ideas can be nurtured into viable businesses that provide an opportunity for the youth not only to earn themselves, but to provide employment for others. Right. They become meaningfully engaged in their own development and the development of the economy. They become the cornerstone of a diverse economy. DYS wants to showcase the entrepreneurship talents of a youth in the territory and to expose the general public to the myriad of businesses and business ideas that are already in existence. Okay. So in essence, really just exposure to our youth, their ideas, their entrepreneurial skills, Correct. and um, showcase it to us here in the territory. Definitely. There, there, there are so many different businesses out there right now that our young people are creating and promoting. We thought it would be a wonderful opportunity to have an expo where we can show the territory and beyond because we're live, you know, we're on social media, <laughs> that they can see the wonderful things our young people are doing here. All right. Thank you. And Director, I think, um, well, I, I know that the Senior Program Manager for Youth, Miss Leonard, you have been spearheading this particular project um, through, do we say, um, you said DYAS, yes? For yes, short, for the Department DYAS. of U.S. <laughs> I, not DIAS, not right? Dias. It's not DYAS. <laughs> so DYAS. So, Miss Leonard, you've been taking the charge here regarding this particular initiative. Um, tell us where we are uh, with, regarding where um, the, the initiative at the moment. All right. So, so far, um, we are currently having a three three day um, event is a three day event. So on day one we have seminars and day one is when? Day one is actually November 29th. Okay, so the 29th. And day two is November 30th. Okay. And on day three is that the actual sure. youth business expo scheduled for 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the multipurpose sports complex. So so far we have a large number of registrations, but we are seeking more. Um, registrants to, you know, engage in this opportunity. Okay. So um, throughout the interview, learn more about the seminars in more detail, and then I'll be able to explain for the, the expo. All right. Thank you. And we have Ms. Flanders with us. You know, everyone sees you on the social media, yeah. motivating these young people and encouraging them. They call you mommy. No, they call me Miss D. Okay. So I'm <laughs> just making sure that we get the right name. So, so Miss D. Mm -hmm. DYAS, not DIAS. DYAS. Yes. Tell us how you how you are being involved or instrumental in the this this particular part of the expo or where in the expo Miss um, D showed up. Okay. Well, I'm focusing on um, those who have registered, so I'm assisting them. You know, as it relates to they sending in their logos, sending in their promotional videos. So I'm reaching out to those who have registered, and I must say, as Miss Leonard mentioned. Um, we have a good turnout, okay. and of course, we're anticipating more because at the end of the day, we really want to promote um, youth 
entrepreneurship in a positive way. Okay, so sometimes I'm in the community and, you know, I might speak with a person. I used to call them the um, older young people, right? Um, because they would tell you, you know, Gio, sometimes you look a little older than we do. You know, mm-hmm. you know, they feel like they fly, you know, they don't live life to some degree. So um, is there a particular age range? Because, you know, we don't want somebody coming in there. Not, not We want the encouragement, I'm sure, from the public. You know, you're 65, but you might look 40. Correct. Right. <laughs> and and you come in there and we're like, you know, and you don't see if you might be very vital. It might be a 20 year old that can't do what you do. But is, I'm sure there's a particular age range, and maybe someone can speak to that age range. I can speak to that. Okay. Okay. We are catering to two age groups. We have the first age group is seven, nine to 17, our very young ones. We're calling them our youthpreneurs. That's youthpreneurs. Right. Aspiring. Aspiring. Aspiring youth- youthpreneurs. <laughs> <Yes>. <laughs> Because as you are aware, legally in the in the BVI, you can't get a trade license until you're 18 years old. Okay. So they are the aspiring youthpreneurs. And then we have the youth entrepreneurs who are 18 to 30 years old. Okay. So. Mm. So so we have two brackets. We have the youthpreneurs. <laughs> it's aspiring. Aspiring. Well, I mean, <laughs> but, but youthpreneurs isn't that thing. So even yeah. if you're aspiring, because then when you get to the age, become, you become a youth entrepreneur. entrepreneur. So Correct. Youthpreneurs. <laughs> you know, the young young Fair folks. Enough. So so then that's ages nine to seventeen. Correct. Right. And then we also have the youth entrepreneurs yes. that are from eighteen to. 30, 30, 30, yes. 30 years of age. Yes. Right. And in addition fantastic. to that, the brackets of the age, the age brackets, um, for the aspiring youthpreneurs, mm-hmm. we have broken the age down as well. So we okay. have nine through seven, sorry, nine to 13 and then 14 through 17. So as you Teenpreneurs? <laughs> <laughs> we just thought that, you know, um, as it relates to judging, right. okay. you know, okay. you can't judge a nine-year-old or seventeen. Same as a seventeen-year-old. Okay. So, okay. so we decided to break. break so you use the way. word judging. I mean, I, I'm I'm probably going a little ahead of maybe the way you. You know, I was actually scared like, to mention that. <laughs> <laughs> no, but I, I I I'm I'm thinking it's just maybe a, a used word, right? But it's really an observation that will be taking place on the day of the expo, yes. where persons have. Well, maybe I should let you tell it. So on the day of the expo. Persons will be observed. Um, uh, who are the persons being observed and who are the persons doing the observation? Well, Gio, before I get there, I guess I could tell you a bit about the Business Expo. Please. But we were hoping to start up with the seminars. But the Youth Business Expo, um, we're excited to have it. You know, it's a platform, a space for our young people, you know, who have businesses. So, you know, they can showcase their talents, their abilities, their products and their services. Um, it's also an opportunity for like-minded individuals to pretty much, you know, um, see what other persons are offering, as well as have the ability to network and engage with other persons that are present. Um, in addition to networking, they will have the opportunity to have possible partnership, as well as gain exposure and insight to help enhance their businesses. Okay. Right. So again, the event will be taking place on the 1st of December, um, 10 a.m. to 2 p.m. at the Multipurpose Sports Complex. Um, in addition to your question, as it relates to judging, we have four categories of... Right, so yeah, you have four categories. But before you go there, I just wanted to stay with you with the expo um, prior to, because you mentioned the, um, without saying it, the seminars. And I know initially you started to try to go into those seminars. Um, you said the event on a whole is three days. Mm-hmm. So maybe we can go into those first two days prior to the actual expo. Maybe you can break down what persons can expect to receive. All right. So the seminar is scheduled for the 29th through the 30th of November. And um, it starts at 1 p.m. to 3 p.m. on both days. Okay. But my officer, Ms. Flanders Harrigan, yes. will be able to share more about the seminar. All right, thank you. All right, so Gio, on day one, we have a business starter kit. Starter toolkit, actually. Um, that is, you know, that will encompose, or I should say, focus on, you know, you have to get a trade license. Okay. Th- those nitty gritties of what you need to get your um, business up and running. And that would be done by Mrs. Laura Lee Marcia Williams. She'll be focusing on that area for us. And 
the second part of that day, we have money management. Okay, important. Can't run a business. On a barter system. Correct. <laughs> <laughs> so we have Ms. Shonda Leacock and Mr. Nelson Ramirez. Okay. who would be um, focusing on that area for us. So that's covering day one. And you call that the starter toolkit? Um, the first half is about the business starter toolkit. And then the second half of day one is about money management. Sure. I will talk about, you know, getting your trade license, making sure you're covered with NHI, money social management. security, Register. all of that good stuff, Register you know? Okay. All, of that, all that good stuff. And then we're going into money management. Because okay. again, you can't have a business without managing your money effectively. Effectively. And on day two, which is the 29th. The 30th. The 30th. Yeah. Oh, Lord, I'm the sorry. 30th, yeah. That's the okay. 30th. The 30th. Yes. Yes. The 30th. Um, be a brand. Oh. That speaks on you as an entrepreneur, um, you know, speaks on marketing. You you have to be your brand. You have to. If, you, if you're going to be a hairdresser, mm -hmm. you got to look good. Mm -hmm. Right? So, you know, we're focusing on you, you know, presenting your business in a more positive light. And that is um, going to be done by Mr. Karim Nelson Hall. Oh, okay. Okay. He will be spearheading that um, part of um, the seminar. And later that day, we have Protect Your Business. And we've partnered with Hire BVI, who will come in to speak on, you know, the legalities of having a business and, you know, protecting yourself so that you don't get abused okay. by people who might try to come and, you know. And then, uh, Want if, to will that include security as well? <laughs> if your business needs it, well, maybe. Yes. Okay. <laughs> so, there you go. There you go. So, we have the 29th of November. Yes. That's the day one. It will be the starter tool, um, as well as money management. Yes. Uh, coin, coin, coinciding together. Yes. And then we have the 30th, yes. right? Which would be um, day two. Mm -hmm. And on that day, there will be... Be your, Be your brand. brand, yes. You know, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta represent, <laughs> yes. represent, represent. Mm -hmm. Okay, so and, and then protect on, your business and protect your business. Yes, yes you gotta protect that bag, mm -hmm. as the young people would say, protect yes. the bag. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anything to add to those additional those two days? And um, I would just say that that those seminars are open to anyone within the age groups prescribed from nine oh, to okay, thirty okay. who are interested in learning more about how to develop their business. Yes. And um, secondary students are already encouraged to attend, and we have some who have said they're coming. Okay. So we're going to the grassroots, we're getting them young, and teaching them the proper way to go about you know, establishing a, a, a viable business. A viable yes. business. That's good, especially while you're in school, it kind of helps with, um, you know, cultivating the mind mm -hmm. to be the acceptant mindset. and right. focus a little bit yes. more zoned in. Yes. So that's good. And then now there comes the first. Yes. Right? <laughs> While we're here, I should yes. interject. Uh, I may have asked before off camera, but is this the first expo um, for the department? Actually, no, it is not. Okay. The last expo for the department, which is also called um, Youth and Business, was held in 2016. And okay. it was held at the Noah Loin Action Positive Action Movement Park. And that year, I think we had a total of 30 businesses represented from our okay. young people. We had a fashion show. I think um, Miss, Miss Treffle was a part of that. Mm -hmm. We had a young lady at the time. I, I fail to remember her name, but she was on Ireland from the United States, and she had created her own candle company, and she just happened to be here. And she was like nine years old. Oh, wow. And she had this booming business. And we, through Miss Portia Harrigan, who I guess through her kidpreneurs at the time, had brought her in and loaned her to us. So she was able to come and speak at the event to inspire others as well. All right. I wonder so if she's on you. wax. <laughs> <laughs> but that's good. That's good. So um, has anything or anyone from that period now Will we see like there's a bridge in essence with regards to this expo that's upcoming, uh, or ha mm. no, that or that connection hasn't been made as yet to to know if that's that I has happened. I can't make that connection as yet, but I am pretty sure there are some persons who are involved in this seminar mm. who would have been a part of the last of the sorry expo who would have been a part of the. I have one person in mind already, Mrs. Laura Lee Mercer Williams. Okay. She attended. She was a part of the last seminar, and she's an integral part of our expo coming up as well. Okay. So, senior program manager for youth, Miss <laughs> Leonard, 
See, I'm getting, now I'm getting it. I'm yes. getting it, right? D-Y-A-S. Yes. Right? So the day of the expo, tell us what we can anticipate um, from, you know, those persons that may have signed up or I know that there's a registration form that's out there to get persons involved. Maybe you can advise us on the cutoff time and, you know, what you're looking for in terms of what persons may see in terms of businesses and, and the like. I don't want to sell it all, but because um, <laughs> I, I got a little sneak peek, but, you right. know, let's, let's let right. the public so, know. So pretty much the Youth Business Expo, again, slated for the 1st December. Um, starting at 10 a.m. So with the start of the expo, we'll have an opening ceremony. Okay. And of course, within that ceremony, we will have a youth motivational speaker as well. Okay. Um, prior to the start of the expo, um, there will be an opportunity for persons to engage. And persons who are interested in being a part or being an active participant of the expo, um, we are encouraging persons to register by November 10th. Okay. Um, that is a cutoff period. And we have, we are open to all types of businesses, whether beauty and cosmetics, construction, um, food, hospitality, health and fitness, just to name a few. So it's all listed entertainment, for example, yes. It's also included music, the mm -hmm. marine industry. So we're looking for all sorts of young persons. And this event also is expect to highlight young persons, not only in Tartola, but the sister islands. Okay. So Bojangada, Just Van Dyke, and Angada. Yes. And do we currently have active persons um, registered from these places? Yes, we currently Beautiful. do, but we are seeking more. All right. And I'm <laughs> pleased to also share that um, the department, through the Ministry of Education, Youth Affairs and Sports will be providing transportation for those persons who are registered from the Sister Island. Oh, no. So that will be one. Say it one more time. Say it one more time. <laughs> That's for the person in the back of the room that didn't hear. The department, <laughs> through the Ministry of Education, Youth Affairs and Sports, right. will be providing transportation for registered youths from okay. the Sister Island. So that will be one less hassle. Or so the make one sure you register. Yes. yes. To worry exactly. about. So. We are actually going to visit Virgin Garda soon. Okay. As well as just when they can together to go and have communications as well with the young persons within the community. So persons can also understand, you know, what the business expo is about. We have started um, as of yesterday um, with the schools. We started at the secondary level. Okay. And we are also going to go, also we are also going to go out into the community so persons can understand. So within the expo after right after the um sorry the open ceremony, you know, persons are encouraged to come and support our young entrepreneurs. You know, it's, we have a lot of young, talented, skilled young people and too often community members, you know, they aren't aware. Okay. You know, they don't know what they're doing. So this is a space where, you know, I'm encouraging the community to come out and support, support. see what they are offering, offering as well as patronize. So that said, you know, yes. you said you mentioned a few visits that are upcoming, yes. right? Is there a schedule of visits that maybe we can, through the Department of Information, put out to the public so that, you know, persons can be prepared to mm -hmm. receive, especially these sister islands? So um, I can tell you, we already we have already scheduled a visit for Virgin Garda, okay. which is for tomorrow. Oh, okay. Yes, tomorrow, the 3rd <laughs> of November. <laughs> And uh, we can provide you the dates for next week, which will okay. be for the Sister Islands. Okay. But we have come from Virgin Garda for tomorrow. Okay, okay. Yes. Thank you. All right. So it's, it's jam-packed. It's open. Uh, you know, get involved. Come, come on board and make sure that you come and support the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports Youth Business Expo 2023. Now, this Youth Expo, I'm sure, you know, with all that has been said, um, there has to be a theme for this particular, uh, you know, expo. And maybe somebody can speak to us on the theme. I know the theme uh, is... <laughs> <laughs> Youth entrepreneurship, the cornerstone of a diverse economy. And the theme is... <laughs> <laughs> Youth entrepreneurship, the cornerstone of a diverse economy. All right. So what does that mean? It basically means that our young people who have these new innovative niche areas are con uh, like infusing into the economy. And every economy needs constant infusions to keep it vibrant, right? right? 
And that's the role of our young entrepreneurs, because what usually what they come up with is so diverse and so different to what was there before. So there's always something fresh and new. And all that, uh, all those businesses will infuse money into the economy, will infuse excitement into the economy, as well as provide jobs. As I said, I'm a young entrepreneur and the business gets a bit too much for me. I need to hire somebody to help me. So we are, you know, it's a constant growth. It's a constant change. And, and I, I believe, and that is the cornerstone of keeping the, the economy diverse and growing. So, so this expo, in essence, then is the sounding board of these youths that are the cornerstone and showing, showcasing the diversity <laughs> in our community. Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? Carry on. It's okay. <laughs> Carry on. <laughs> it's okay. I'm talking cap. That's what young people say. It's, no, I you say it out of context. It's, out of, okay. That was out of context. Am I talking the truth? Is it, is, <laughs> is it the truth or is it not the truth? Right? So the expo really is the sounding board, really, of our of our youth being a cornerstone with the diverse ideas that, yeah. Um, yeah. to propel. Fresh, different. Right. That's the infused word that you use, infused. you know, fresh. Because it's so fresh. <laughs> right? Into our economy. Right? Is there any last words with regards to anything that you would like us to remember or take note of um, as we conclude this portion of the expo? Yes, I would like to remind persons that on the deadline for registration, and we're looking for young persons between the ages of 9 through 30. Again, two age categories, um, the entrepreneur, sorry, the youth entrepreneurs are ages 18 through 30, and the aspiring youthpreneurs are from 9 through 17, and that is also broken down into 9 through 13 and 14 to 17. Okay. In addition to that, um, we would like to thank our sponsors because this event won't be possible without our sponsors. So if you will allow me to read our sponsors so I don't miss anyone, they are the Ministry of Education, Youth Affairs and Sports, Digicel, Engineering, Management, Construction, Frontline Systems, Mercer Group, BVI Hot Press Advertising, Nova Vita, Beyond the Decor, BVI Chambers of Commerce, National Bank of the Virgin Islands, First Caribbean Bank International, Karim Nelson Hall, and Higher BVI. Okay. And some of those persons that you've mentioned, some of those sponsors, we can see that they're infused in the actual expo because yes. they'll be giving expertise mm -hmm. uh, from what was said here uh, in in and through the expo activities. As well as sponsoring our lovely prizes for mm -hmm. our young persons. So they're showing that example of money matters. Yes. yes. <laughs> <laughs> Anyone else? Um, um, I just, of course, want to encourage um, those who will be viewing our youth, um, as mentioned before, um, to sign up, register, you know, let us help you promote your business because you never know, you know, in um, settings like these, it opens you to networking. Yeah. So you just never know. So sign up. Don't don't look at your business because some may look at their business as, well, I'm just doing little bitty things. But those little bitty things can turn into big things. Yeah. So register today. All right. And All right. those little bitty things, you'll be getting the tools to make it become a big, big thing. So <laughs> we, have to, we have to start somewhere. I would just like to say that I am very excited and looking forward to the event. And my team has been working very hard to, to make it a reality. We, we, we are actually quite enjoying putting it together. <laughs> um, I would really implore the general public, you know, too many times... The, the dialogue surrounding our young people is not the most positive. But mm. this, this expo, this three-day event will show them that our young people are capable of beautiful, exciting things. And I would love them to come out on your lunch hour. If you have mm. a little time, come out and see what they have to offer. And as Miss Leonard said, patronize them. Mm -hmm. You know, don't just come and look, but purchase what they have to offer. Mm -hmm. You know, give them that mm -hmm. little that little push of positivity. And frankly, I think it's probably going to be one of the best events for the year. 
Okay. Okay. Mm-hmm. Well, well, that's it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, and again, um, you, your things are being showcased like on the expo day. There will be a showcase. Um, is there any particular message uh, you would like those persons showcasing, those persons observing to know with regards to that? Because I know I started to ask that earlier on, and you told me to put a pause. <laughs> <laughs> but, um, um, you know. As it relates to the expo, in terms of our categories of prizes, opportunities for persons to win prizes. Awesome. Um, we will have silent judging. Okay. And the four categories are best promotional booth, best business pitch, most innovative award, as well as aspiring youth preneur award. Okay. All right. What the prizes will be? You will know on the expo date. Correct. <laughs> you don't tease yeah, people like that. Why you say that for? They are, they are good prices. No They're very good prices. The reason why our young people register is for the main purpose of the event. Yeah. But obviously, you know, there's an incentive as well. Okay. Okay. Good to know. So there's incentive, more than one. Yes. There's, there's more multiple than one. incentives yes. uh, with regards to everyone being included in being able to exp- express what they're having or what they have in terms of their entrepreneurial skills. And you know, you made me say it. However, the person that have been registered, they weren't even aware that we were offering prizes. So. (laughs) (laughs) Extra incentive. Okay. Yes. Well, like I was saying, there's multiple. I mean, you're getting a ticket over. Um, Granted, you know, you're registered. Again, the registration deadline is November 10th. Right. The days, the days. I know we mentioned the date, but we didn't mention what day of the weekend. I know that the time is usually around your lunch hours. So it starts from the the 29th, the 29th, November. That's a Wednesday. That's a Wednesday. Wednesday. Yeah. Okay. So from Wednesday to Friday. Friday right. Yeah. So from Wednesday, the 29th to um, the actual expo date being the first Friday, the 1st of December. Mm-hmm. Um, we are asking persons to come out from around, well, Wednesday and Thursday is 1 to 3. 3 p.m. 1 to 3 p.m. Um, those persons ages 9 through 30 years old. Uh, we know that especially those with the, the youth entrepreneurs may be a little flexible in being able to get there. But um, I know that you said that you mentioned your tours to the various secondary schools um, in encouraging them to try to find a timeline to come on out and support, support themselves. Come and support yourself, <laughs> right? Uh, for the Youth Business Expo 2023. I thank you all. I thank the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports, um, Director Ty, uh, Senior you. Program Manager for Youth, uh, Miss Leonard, as well as the Youth Program Officer, Miss Flanders. Harrigan. Yes. You know what happened? Um, as we're in the month of November, I was thinking about Flanders Field um, as gotcha. I have my little poppy. Gotcha. So, <laughs> Good sake. For the Department of Information and Public Relations and the Ministry of Education, Youth Affairs and Sports, I'm Information Officer Giovanni Herbert. This was a GIS update on the Youth Business Expo that's upcoming for the Department of Youth Affairs and Sports. Thank you for joining us today.